How's it going folks? This is Wayne R. Back for another technique lesson today. I'm continuing our scale series. We've already looked at the minor pentatonic, uh, the blue scale and the major scale. We're going to look at the second position to the minor pentatonic scale. Um, we've done all the other scales in the key of an A. I am going to change this one to a key of a G so we can get all the positions all in a row. Make it a little bit easier to understand. But I'll explain all that in a minute. So without further ado... Let's get to it. Okay, so the first scale that we looked at in lesson one was the A minor pentatonic scale, and the root note was on the fifth fret with the first finger on. So I'm hoping everybody's got that scale down. If you haven't, obviously go back to lesson one and get that down because this lesson will make no sense until you've got that first position down. Okay. So we're going to take this position, the root note, we're going to move that down two steps. So we're now on the third fret. And that's we're going to do the same shape, position one, but that is now on the key of a G. And the reason we're doing that is just to make it easier to understand because I can show it all the positions sort of, you know, in a row that go up the fretboard and we can link all these together. Okay, so position one again. So obviously that's the one we've already done. The only difference is... We've moved the root note and we're now in the key of a G, okay? So position two would start where the little finger sort of reaches up to on that bottom E string, which will be the sixth fret, okay? So we'd start on the sixth fret, so we on the E string we're gonna go six, eight. On the A string we're gonna go five, eight. The same on the D string, we're gonna go five, eight. Five, seven on the G. On the B, we're going to go 6-8, and then we're going to go 6-8 also on the top E string. So that should sound when you get that together. And obviously descending. But it doesn't sound resolved on that note, so obviously, you know, when we go back to the G, because it's attached to that G position, you know, it's the second position. It sounds resolved, okay? So a good thing to do within that position is sort of, you know, weed out where sort of the root notes are, okay? So if we go down that scale, we've got the 6, 8, 5, 8. We've got a root note there, which will be the 5th fret on the D string. Carry on going up, so... And we've also got a root note there, a G note, which will be on the 8th fret. That's on the B string, okay? So we can connect those two together. Okay, so it's important to weed out those sort of root notes and get used to where they are, because when you start making licks up and things, it's always good to sort of resolve it around a root note. But uh, very, again, very slowly, so we've got 6, 8, 5, 8, 5, 8, 5, 7, 6, 8, 6, 8. So if we add the, you know, a good thing to practice is joining those two scales together. So if you did the first one, you know, up and down. Straight into the second one. Okay. Now it doesn't really matter about your fingering on, on these scales, but I would say try and involve your little finger as much as you can, obviously. You know, in the early stages of playing a guitar, your little finger is the weakest finger, so it's it's important to try and use that as often as you can. Um, another thing we could do, obviously, we've done the blues scale. So if we were to do bl the blues position, position one, it's exactly the same as we did in the key of an A, but obviously we've moved, you know, the root note to the third fret, so... Okay, so if we were to weed out the um, the root note, the blues note in position two of the minor pentatonic scale, it will be there on the sixth fret. That's on the G, and that's sort of connected to position one as well. So, so it's really useful to you know get used to those notes, get used to the root notes. Um, so a good thing to practice with that scale is, like I've mentioned in the other scales, you know, we can practice that Aussie alternative picking. First stroke down, second stroke up, etc.
Okay, a really good thing to practice that if you want to get your scales up to speed. Uh, another good thing, what I mentioned also in the other lessons, if you wanted to play along to a metronome, you know, really helps with timing that. So, you know, if you start off, I don't know, about 50 BPM and try and get all the notes in time. It might seem really slow, that, but really useful trying to, you know, get all those notes in time and then obviously speed it up and see how far you can take it. So, uh that is basically it, position two of the minor pentatonic scale. I hope you can get that down. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I hope that was useful to everybody. Like I say, it's really, really important to get uh, scales down. It's great for, you know, development on guitar. And it's good for getting that separation in the fingers. Uh, and when you start using scales, is what's, you know, obviously we've got to learn the scales first. And then we're going to build up and maybe do a few riffs. And I'll show you how to improvise with those scales. You know, you're going to get a lot of use out of them. They're not just going to be exercises. They're going to be, you know, go beyond exercises. So, um, thanks very much for watching. I will be back with the next part in the series, which will be the minor pentatonic scale position three. I will see you then. Thanks for watching.